back, everybody. How's it going? Eh. Eh. Hey, you know, pretty good. Eh. Eh. All right, topic of the day. If you were a giant animal leading mm -hmm. a pack of other smaller animals and the stone thief, what, what, what would be your animal of choice? Seth? We would be a... Okay. <laughs> Uh, my, my name is Seb. I'm playing Ash. And if I was going to be, uh, a, a, an animal leader leading other smaller animals through the stone thief, yeah. man, I, you, that's a big question. Okay. Is it? I yeah. It a big question. Look, it I'll let you think is. on it, all right? I wait, no, 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 I want to be an elephant. All right. With little elephants, or you got someone else, so, like... No, I'm leading, like, like, um... You know, you know, like, uh, like, like, like warthogs and bullets and, and, and other mm -hmm. earthy type Pokemon. Okay, okay, I like it. Okay, okay. Pow? Yo, what up? I'm Leanne Morantz, and I'm a commander. And if I... You know what? Giant sloth leading a bunch of smaller sloths that are hanging on the underside of me. Oh, ooh, they, they're clinging to your disgusting ooh. armpit moss. <laughs> hey, I have moss elsewhere. It's not just my armpits, all right? common misconception we actually don't have moss under our armpits that's what these razors are for <laughs> <laughs> now i feel like that'd be a very slow battle just like ever so slightly inching forward like attacks attacks once every two turns deals double the weapon damage i like it Ooh. ellen ellen i play jane curie jade spun the uh yeah dwarf and opera singing bard and um, in the Stone Thief specifically, I think I gotta go with um, Dire Snail because they don't get squished when the Stone Thief submerges. Mm. I like it. I like it. Also, I like how. Oh, hold on. Do we have Dire Snails in the setting? Oh, we do. The we wizard, do. the Baihu wizard, was living <gasps> in a tower in a Dire Snail. I like how, you know, it's like, hey, I'm Seb, I play Astra Sorcerer. Hey, I'm Pow, I play, you know, Leanne, the Legislator. Like, Ellen, it's like, I play the Dwarven Opera Singing Bard. Well, okay, like, that's like an important part of her whole concept, right? I mean, I feel like, you know, if, if, if you know, it's very important to Rumham's character concept that that she pisses off every single god she meets, but That's true. <laughs> she well, doesn't you know, be like, "Hey, everyone, I'm Rumham. I play Kalia, the god anger." Well, normally I also announce that I'm head of the Jade Spine Dwarven Clan. So, yeah, <laughs> you, know, if, today. you see, it's they really would definitely just being put... in character from the get go. <laughs> she yeah. brags about her titles. No one else does. I think that's yeah, fitting. You though. have. To be your own hype man, otherwise no one's gonna oh care for you. <laughs> yeah, no this one is... cares if you if if you throw up your city. You gotta rep your city. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Rumham. Hey, what's up? I'm Rumham. I play Kalia, the God Pisser off her shield. <laughs> Whoa, here she comes. <laughs> She's a God Eater. Um, Whoa, here she comes. I've pissed off about five gods now. And uh, I have so many icon relationships that Toon had to add an extra slot into the character sheet. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, speaking uh, and... of character defining things, Seb, roll how many uh, elves Raza has killed. Oh, you know what? We are well into the 600 territory, I think. We are. Okay, I think you're on it. As for, <laughs> I, I think this is very obvious. Uh, I would be a gigantic cat leading smaller <laughs> cats uh, everywhere I go, just knocking shit off tables, um, biting ankles, um, 
sleeping in inconvenient spots, um, chewing on wires. Now that's quite uh, the boss fight. Just, you know, no, they're not threatening the town. They're just blocking the central thoroughfare. <laughs> Yeah, they're just blocking the freeway. <laughs> All right, Snorlax. Let me get the polka flute. Basically. And Max, who are you and what giant animal would you be leading a pack of smaller other animals? Oh, um, I'm Max. I play Lucian, Barbarian Ranger. That's, that's enough for my <laughs> character. <laughs> No need to know that he's a werewolf. Um, and then I would be uh, owl bear, leading more owl bears. Okay. Okay. Well, none of these are what the party is fighting today. Um, for once, we're not rolling iconic relationships. We're in the middle of combat. You guys have we're fighting a giant gorilla with a bunch of smaller monkeys. It's monkey boy, don't monkey time. Um, Zab, can I see that real quick? I'm still loading in. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. When we last left off, they, there, were, there were three NPCs um, from Dungeon Town hiding underneath the mushroom tree that had been knocked over by this great giant monkey. And they are being, they were being pulled out of their hiding spot by these little ba bully baboons, but uh, Callie has distracted them with her self. Uh, <laughs> she's been bullied a little bit. And now we have a big old monkey staring down Leanne, hiding behind a shield. And down to the south, we have Lucian in werewolf form, fighting some flying monkeys along with the Damon Grizz. Oh, you're just shy. Just shy of 800. I, well, I looked at our different running totals, yeah. and I I hate to say this. I think uh, you may be a little bit behind. Possibly. Let me see. Details. Wait, 800. Oh, sorry, 600. Oh, yeah. No, I'm at 596. You're right. Yeah. You're right. What is that number? Elves dead? Yeah. Wow. Now, Rumham, I'm really afraid to do what I'm about to do because I, you're, you're gonna you're gonna hate me and you're gonna be like, this is why I never deploy my tower shield! Uh-oh. -huh. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Just do it, you yeah. coward. Yeah, you know what? Do it. Hey, pal, can you go ahead and make a constitution check for me? Didn't this thing already attack, or did we end we at end. its turn? We ended <clears throat> at its turn. Uh, we finished uh, right, the right. I stabbed it, and then, yeah. All right. You want me to roll constitution? Mm -hmm. For what exactly? Holding on. You know, I would accept strength, too. I'm going to give that strength, because it's more like keeping the shield in place, and that's not... I'm just going to do this, yeah. This is not bad. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so good news. You have a firm, strong grip on this shield. Uh, the bad news is the monkey's picking up the entire shield with you attached and is about to throw it. The hmm. spikes are digging into its already cut palm, so Kalia, go ahead and give me a shield bash attack against the monkey for that spike damage. Uh, I also have, um, have a, ooh. It's, you're just rolling the damage, yeah. I think. Yep. Oh, just the damage? Okay. Uh, I have a, um, question can yeah. you use icon relationships as like a reaction to something like this or does it have to be on your turn no you can like if you propose it to me i accept it it can be used out of your turn uh well i think you know Callie's land senses um 
would be on red alert since she is not right next to her like she normally is, nor does she have her giant ass shield. Um, so uh, I would argue that, you know, she's got one eye on, on what she's doing, getting bashed by these smaller monkeys mm -hmm. and then like one eye, like, or, you know, at least like listening out behind her mm -hmm. in case something happens. So, um, uh, to distract the monkey from throwing Leanne, or at least try to interrupt it, could I give up a recovery to do a, like, ranged spell or something? What's your, um, like, what icon relationship is it? With the Diabolus, so it makes sense that you know Leanne, she's a tiefling. Oh, because I was in a cult one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know the the you know she was in a cult one, so you know it makes sense. Well, tell you what, you know, giving up a recovery, we do that a lot. I think, I think, you know. So you just you want okay, you want him to not throw. Callie, just do it right now. Yeah. Just say sacrifice Kalia. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sacrifice Kalia. No, no, no. What we what, so you don't want it to throw Leanne, um, right? Or crush my shield in its hand, or please. Crush, well, yeah, but well, you know the, the what the Diablos is good at misdirection. Um, we're gonna go ahead and as. So the monkey grabs down onto the, the shield and takes 24, not, sorry, 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 applies healing. Oh, what ha, what? Just, just hits Leanne straight in the face. <laughs> Leanne, give yourself back this, your 24th damage. All right, it, it, <laughs> it goes into its hand and starts bleeding a bit. And then suddenly just Ash looks really terror, like just really yes. enticing. Yes, yes. Uh, wow. So the monkey just wow. kind of forgets it's carrying Leanne, and, and in one hand, like it's carrying the shield with Leanne attached, like ah, ah, and in the other uh -huh. hand, it just kind of swings forward. Is it? Yes. So the monkey is still holding Leanne, yes. but does not throw her. Correct. <clears throat> Used an icon relationship to have him snipe the low health person. <laughs> Well, you know, I would rather not have my shield get crushed and a teammate get crushed at the same time. Hmm. And, you okay, know, so just, like so just been nice to Kalia or anything. So. so just one teammate is fine, then. Yeah, just, I'm one. Assuming. Yeah. Yeah, just one. One teammate is yeah. fine. As, as a snap. Just one teammate. Um. What? Okay, so we're back to the latest, no. ver a new. We're, ba we're back to a newer version, and uh -huh. we're back to not working. Why? Uh, no. Oh, because something work. else got. Oh, wait. Okay. Mine worked. Yours worked. Oh. Uh oh. We had a bug with the NPC sheet. Whoopsie doodle. Nice. Nice. All right. Back. Another revert. It's twice in a row, man. I, you know, I've been, I've, my, my immersion has been ruined a few times these past two sessions. I, I think know. Raza should just get like an extra plus four to that last roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you want to argue for. <laughs> I don't even care about the icon relationships. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, I feel like a short of my lizard man. Okay, please hold. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna real quick go back again to the working version, and uh, you know this. Well, we'll get it done. Will we? Okay, it's, it's off the server. Go back to beta one, which was working. Reinstall. Oh, I was muted when I was mocking you. Damn. 
okay. We reinstalled it. Now we launch again. So <laughs> you put us on a broken version last time. Yep. You rolled us back to a, like a working version. Yes. <laughs> Why are we on another broken version? Well, because this version was supposed to fix the other issues, which it did, but then there's a new issue, but only for NPC sheets. Oh, yeah. So you just got to do what I do and make stuff up. Okay, we're back. We're back in. Let me refresh. Reload. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and reload. I... God. Dang it, I just got here. Yeah, T minus 10 minutes. <laughs> You know what it is? We just keep this so busy. Is it literally the mount the modules? Uh, wait, that didn't reset to the version. What happened? We're on. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <clears throat> oh, it's not a good sign. Ay ay ay! All right, it's time for everybody's <laughs> favorite favorite game show: Cat or Doctor. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, if Doctor. you get Foundry Virtual Tabletop, don't worry. So long as you stay on the stable versions, this won't happen to you. If actually, you're an idiot developer for it, Bo, this will happen to you. Uh, actually, as somebody who regularly uses Forge, I don't even know how the hell Cody does this like consistently. Because my shit just works, and I use 13th Age too. Yeah, I'm on the um, beta versions of 13th Age, and you're on the stable version of 13th Age. Uh, you gave me a link to the beta versions, and now I just stay updated. Yeah, no, the updates won't give you these unstable ones. I'm, oh, like, literally okay. pulling forward uh, unstable versions to test with. Don't worry, we're going the other direction. We're actually going to start Man. running the unstable versions of Foundry Core 2, um, because I want to test it. Man's... <laughs> Man's really sad. I have VS. Co I'm making changes real time. <laughs> Look, just because we're on the publisher's site doesn't mean we won't brutally screw everything up. Right. A hundred percent. You know, we're role playing, right? But we're also role playing guinea pigs at the same time. The rules of reality keep changing on us. We just kind of sum it up to Patches doing something somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, his name is literally Patches. He's oh, I get it, and I don't... I, 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 reality. I get it, I don't like that. Anyways, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're all... you uh, Every last one of you were a doctor who was off hours and playing a tabletop RPG game. That's my guess. Thank God I can finally wake up from this hellscape reality. <laughs> All right, now ready? What type of doctor am I? Neurosurgeon. Ew. All right, fine. Nice. Meow. Meow. If you pull on this one, the toes dance. All right, Ellen, been... what was it? If I had uh, a choice... Which one, your part or Seb's? No, we were playing. We were playing the same character. Oh, okay. Okay, give it give, <laughs> X. Give it a reload. I would have preferred being a proctologist. Like. Well. I would have shockingly fast. I would have. Yeah, I would want to be a sleepy all day in beddy octologist. That sounds. Yeah. That sounds like the world needs a few more of those. Our roles seem to be working. <laughs> Is it working against NPCs, right? Good question. Um, once the uh, scripts finish loading for me. Okay. Oh. 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 And Ash's dead. 
Okay. I did it roll. No, I just assumed that's uh, how we were getting back into it. <laughs> two, two oh! guys. Like, yeah, Ash is dead. Oh! <laughs> it worked. Okay, Ash is dead. <laughs> All right, Ash is dead. All right, moving let's forward. Take a look at this. Let me just take a look. I'm a All right, Seb. I, sh I, I, I Seb, <laughs> here. I bought you this 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 packet of tinsel for Christmas. You can just play with that for the next twenty sessions until Raza comes back. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're fucked. I can't help. I think I'm Laura monkey. might be a little sad. <laughs> he had just am convinced I... somebody that it was the dragon. Am I Gins? Am I Insta gibbed? Um, how much health do you have? Oh, you know, you're fine. Oh. You're fine. I don't have a lot. This motherfucking sorcerer has a... He has 63 health. No. Stop looking over people's max HP or I'm going to get furious. No. What? Who? Go ahead. Who, what, oh, go, no. Wait, what's go your ahead. HP? Uh, 18. 18. Yeah, I'm Oh, boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> Ash is further smashed into the ground with the backswing as well, and is now unconscious with negative 32 health. Good. No, this is... This is great. And you'll be fine. I'll get you on your feet. But hey, okay. Leanne is okay. And if you're not fine, if you're not fine, I have revived. I have to. I, or whatever. I gotta. I got a thing to. I gotta let you know. Even even a single recovery, which is all that I have, would not help right now because my average recovery is thirty three. You recover from zero. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that's been a mechanic. You you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that either. Does no one read the goddamn rule book? No. <laughs> Max brought the rule book as never... his boring book. Yeah, literally, my most excruciating book I chose was the rule book. You think I've read it? I would hope you would at least know how to fight someone. With my character, sure. Ash. Uh huh. Have it? Do you know how nature is just kind of real cruel? Mm hmm. Two flying monkeys are flying in to rip into your corpse and grab mouthfuls. Does he even get an AC bonus? Oh no! No, no this is. So if they're gonna <laughs> eat me alive, if they're gonna eat me alive, I, I, I want to say that. Uh, oh my! I want to. I am willing to let Ash go as long as we that thing that we talked about. The stone thief is gonna have a hell of a of a of a cause of indigestion if this is how it's gonna go. I don't even remember what you're talking about, man. So, um... okay. I don't. I don't think the stone thief's gonna get a chance to eat you. <clears throat> we have hit the first instance of the rule that you can't die to unnamed enemies. Okay. However. Oh, okay. Ash, but... you have crossed negative fifty percent negative health. 50% negative health, which is... That's a gib? That would normally result in a death. Okay. You are, for the purposes of this fight, no longer in the fight. Thank you for showing Thanks. up to the table. You are now able to fight in spirit. All right, very cool. Where's my tinsel? Wow, an icon relationship was used for this. <laughs> but Leanne's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you still have three of them, fucko. You could have done something. <laughs> uh, Lucian is a werewolf right now. And that doesn't stop the priestess. That doesn't stop the bright gods. Zarze, if you're listening, I know you are. This doesn't count as character death. I don't want to see any angry fan letters. I mean, it is a character death. I'm dead. But you're not dead because they're not named. Okay. Lucian, it's your turn. All right. Um, 
Um, Ash did, or Seb, did Ash let out any screams of horror or anything? It, the sounds of his bones breaking might have been pretty loud. It, it was too fast. It's like it just so the cartoons. <laughs> <It's> crunch. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he shakes off a monkey. It's like, don't worry, everyone, I'm still okay. And All then, right. like, the monkey puts his hand down, and then a bunch of like flying baboons come back and eat the jelly. All right, if it's a one, Lucian will have heard, and I will use an icon relationship. But he's he's a wolf right now. And if it's a two, okay, he hears and he's like, I'm pretty sure that was Ash. Oh, Can I, I use an icon relationship of the priestess to get him conscious? I did. I did forget that um, you had a monkey attached to you, and then he would have wanted to disengage. Hold on. D20 plus 5. Also failed to disengage. I guess you just get a bite, Lucian. Oh, I get I get to bite oh, him? No, no, no. He tried biting you. It didn't even work. Um, okay, so you want to have used this uh, presumably before he got eaten by a bunch of monkeys. Um yeah okay i mean this feels like something up the priestess's alley you want him what give him like a divine shield do you want you want to bring him what back up to one health yeah okay Seb. you couldn't have argued for like a free recovery or anything like in that moment he you could have pushed you could have just said you know what a free recovery instead right because but you just like yeah one health all right yeah well He's one health got you years. like a hundred health right I mean, look, he didn't even know the rules. He's technically right. All right. First of all, Seb, not Megan, one, just one. Ash had one health, <laughs> then took 50 damage from two monkeys. And, what? Well, I mean, he said before the monkeys hit him, right? Because otherwise he'd be yeah, actually dead. And then, okay, well, well, then his and AC would have counted. Were they both hit? Uh, they were oh, both that's hit. true. They were both Wait, were they both hit? 25 and 27. They are both hit. Oh my god. What are you feeding these fucking ass? Okay. Well, I mean, they have... you just saw what they eat, so I. Uh... Yeah, me. Okay. Give me my liver back. All right, but he's not dead. He's, he's rolling not dead. dead right? He's 11 health away from being uh, um, dead. Uh, he's just unconscious. Beautiful. Please just let the monkey kill me. Please let, just let the big <laughs> monkey kill me. God, I'm rolling trash. Yeah, but you rolled double fives. That has to apply for something. You swipe and the flying monkey's just so hard to hit. ka -chow. Can he even hit? He, he can. can. Grizz bites into the monkey. And who is now near death. Grizz finally hidden. Yeah, that's and he didn't even need the plus one bonus. I mean, I kind of built Grizz to be more of a tank. He has the same health as Leanne or something similar to. Don't and he's got a you high dare AC. tell me <laughs> a fucking dog is as tanky as... <laughs> He's got armor, remember? <laughs> I have armor! Is Hard that your hit. turn, Lucian? That's my turn. All right, uh, the uh, humans under the tree are just going to, uh, like, they see that Callie is being mobbed. They see that Ash just got, like, stomped. They don't see the other reinforcements. They are going to start crawling out the back of this tree. <laughs> that is the uh, smartest thing I've seen is... this entire combat. Yeah, for sure. It's a slow going underneath all the brambles, and they're trying not to make any noise, but they're going. All right. Seb, roll a death save. All right. So now hold oh. your fucking penis. X. Okay. <laughs> what now? All right. So I'm using this. I'm spending an extra command point so I can work on an unconscious ally. Man, Pelgrane really do just be building the commander as an off healer, huh? Look. Somebody's got to keep this this team of rabble rousers together. Seb, use your very last recovery. Oh, good. 
You know, if there was ever a time to use your last recovery, I think now would be it. So, as a reminder, just... after this, you'll only gain half from recoveries if you try to spend them where you don't have any. Okay. And your stats will increasingly go down. I want to. I want to double or nothing. I want to. I want to do double or nothing. Why? What do you um, mean double or nothing? <laughs> I want to make a bet with the GM. All right. I want to bet that this is going to be. If this is twenty-four or lower, uh, I will take. I want to. I want to say that if this is twenty-four or lower, I get double health. Right. But if it is twenty-five or higher, and this is a bet in your. This is a bet in your favor because my max is fifty-four. Twenty-five or higher, and I get half of what I roll. Because I don't trust this. Do you think you're gonna roll like crap? Is your bet? I I think that you're I could at least double up your to 40. own life. <laughs> you're betting I just... against it. Well, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of a good bet because like if he rolls low, then he gets double. If he rolls high, then he gets half. But it's like not a good bet. Yeah. Or the fifty mark is. Yeah. I mean, like, All right. Seb, your average on a roll is 33. Like, you're giving it's, me, uh, like, it's a, never you're giving been that, him a way it's, better average. It's never been that high, but... <laughs> okay. I've okay. never... 77! <laughs> well... <laughs> Literally everybody was warning you. <laughs> oh, Fine. by the way, you get to have an extra plus eight. All right. Ash is not going to Vegas with us for the next stream. <laughs> I'm telling you. I thought I could get it. I really did. They did. They said bet on black. They said bet on black. We saw. We saw a guy just walk up, dump like two hundred bucks on black. I think he won once, and he spent a thousand dollars. Oh, you're right. He spent a thousand dollars. He walked he away. He was like... gone after two rolls. Yeah, he was gone like five minutes later. Got all that money gone. Oh, <sighs> okay. Um, okay, Seb, it is your turn. I don't have anything. You can I have... move? Can... Leave. Yeah, leave. You could roll a disengage. You could try to leave uh, and be smacked with the stalagmite or stalactite. This gives deep. me disengage plus two, so that's what I'm going to do. Success! Uh, how far can I get? Um, <laughs> I mean, where are you trying to go? Like, you know, there's a big tree that over here. That you can't get that far that way. You could get, you know, back over over the water over here. I um, can I get? Uh, can the can this big monkey reach into the tree? Um, he would certainly like. You have not seen him try, but it would probably be the case that he would have a tough time getting in there. Okay, I wanna I wanna do that. I wanna get in under some of the brambles in there, and as I do, uh, can I attack? Uh, who the big monkey? Well, one of the can I bowling monkeys? Yeah, I mean, you, you... I want to, I want to shoot like a bunch of branches above Kalia's head and like drop them on the monkeys. Yeah, absolutely. Using raw magic power to fry monkeys to death. Whack! <laughs> Hitting them on the head with a branch. You can absolutely Wait. reflavor any of your spells as doing that. Uh, this is just my ranged attack. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean. These monkeys are not mooks. Wait, they are mooks. So only 18 damage? Yeah. You oh, know, I mean, it is rolled, what it is. Oh, I rolled a bunch. Really of, bad. Oh. Really bad. Which bully yeah. monkey did you, were you, like, aiming for? Uh, I was just aiming for, like, a brand. I'm just trying to make sure that Kali is not completely surrounded. I guess one to the one behind. The misunderstood one. The misunderstood one gets bonked for 18 damage oh, and just kind of wobbles <laughs> back and then collapses. Come on, oh, no. <laughs> hey, it's you know what? You may be misunderstood, but your friends sure as fuck aren't, and you're guilty by association. Language. Callie. Okay. <laughs> you're not going to make him roll to take damage? What? what about Lucy's purity ring? <laughs> no. I'm the only one that ever gets shocked by the purity we ring. I haven't done that in a long time. You say another word and Look, he's too far away. 
It's still Fine. traveling. At the end of the combat, Ash is gonna zap from behind and fall over unconscious. <laughs> uh, is Leanne still being held, or? Oh yeah, she's up there. Monkey seems to have forgotten about her. It's fine. But these like six monkeys are surrounding me still, right? Yeah, yeah. I would recommend fighting the monkeys. Yeah. They are mooks and they are bullies. One of if them's we the get mean them bully. Underneath uh, three, I think they don't get to use their gimmick. So. Um. I am going to. I think I used all my cleric heals. Yeah, you've already used last them. time. Um, so can I? This says range spell, but if I cast it for power on myself, I can't do that. Can I? If you only well, target I, yourself, I, it's I, a it's, I, it's it's a close quarter spell, I think. Oh, oh. Can I, this one? I want to cast for power on myself. Uh, it doesn't say you can select yourself for poor power. Uh, if you yeah. cast for broad effect, you can select yourself, but then it is still arranged. Yeah, um... You want me to delete it? Yeah, no, I'm not going to use that one. Um... Close quarter spell I can use in close quarters, right? Yep. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this instead. I'm just gonna pick one of these random monkeys and freaking blast its butt. <laughs> it's red butt. Yep. Oh. Nice roll. The Ooh. conniving bully monkey gets up blasted with a th oh up to two. Who pick another one? Uh, I don't know. This anxious one. Yeah, also, what, you were one nearby ally can heal using a free recovery. Give, it's free. Give it to Ash. Yeah, Ash can Ash can have a free recovery. Uh, a light emanates from you and blasts a conniving bully monkey and the anxious bully monkey and the overflow <laughs> takes out the upbeat one. And they're down to three, which I'm pretty sure... Yeah, no, uh, they're no longer, like, they won't get bonus damage on you anymore. Cool. Um, and then, can I also still Stop, get a rally? free heal. No, because rallying is a standard action. It's a standard action. Okay, uh, Ash gets the free heal. This is free free? Free free. free, free. Oh don't my gosh. Any more deals. Wow, there it you is. Have rolled a worse number? Um, it automatically halved it, so go ahead and apply double. Oh. Extra. That's right, baby. Uh, I was Joel at wouldn't speaking. have beat your bet, by the way. <laughs> no, that would have. That, no, that would have. No, a 26, you would have halved. That was 26, yeah, would have halved again, so I would have just gotten 13. This is terrible. Man, if only you had picked a better round for yourself. <laughs> you gave yourself the full um, 26, though? Perfect. Uh, there it is, yeah. Ash is looking up, like his bones are setting back in place. His wound, his flesh is stitching back together. Uh, his eyeball, which was dangling a bit, is kind of back in the socket. Maybe a little lazy still. That's actually just always been like that. It's hard to tell with the hood. That's why I stand at an angle to everybody all the time. Dame, it is now your turn. Ready. Uh, let's see. So over here in uh, Lucian Land, we still have a couple of monkeys. Yeah, one uh, nearly dead, the other's in the tree, up. injured. Yeah. I'm gonna scream at him. I wish that were a valid way of fixing all my problems. Right? Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. The miserly flying monkey is no longer miserly and no longer flying because he is dead. Uh, he flops down to the ground. All right. Now, just to give my advice, I would start walking towards the giant monkey. Uh, haven't you always wanted a monkey? Yeah, all right, I'll go ahead and start wandering over there. Um, I don't want to cross the thing yet, though. I just want to go probably, like, there. Just peeking over. Yeah. <laughs> da 
advanced in range. All right, we'll call that good. Leanne, while attached to this monkey, you will crit on an 18 plus. What from where you are? If you get up to the head, it's 16 plus. So you're oh, saying get up to the head. If I get to the mark on its head. Yeah, there's like a weird glowing rune. Um... <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna get some legally distinct music going on here. A little. So when am I rolling to get to to get this climbing? Huh? Oh, climbing up the easy part, but keeping your stamina up. That's the hard part. There's like a little bar and everything. Mm -hmm. It's more of a survey. Is this that shadow game? I was talking about. Yeah. No. Colossus. No. no what are you all. talking no, about? Legally distinct. Um. Legally okay. different. Okay. Go figure the one song that doesn't play for me, though. Ah, good old! Uh, if you All give right. a refresh, it might after your turn. No, I'm refreshing now. Oh, I'm here again. Uh, so, how far up can I get from Shield Land onto Gorilla? Uh, you can climb all the way up to his like neck area. Well, then, bring me to the neck. You're there. All right. And you know what I'm going to do from there? Yeah. I'm going to stab at it. Right. <gasps> Quick, hold it for the right amount of time. Look. Does I'll he see. not get, like, a hit advantage being right on top of his I'm head? I'm giving him a crit advantage instead. Okay, okay. He has to time it right. You'll get it, Max. You got it. I haven't played the game. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I got it. You got it. Oh, yeah, you did. It was enough. The up the like HD version. Yeah, you're right. That was a good game. Yeah, but that has a higher FPS, which isn't bad. Uh, do you want your your uh, basic melee? Yeah, I'm loaded in. I'm just okay. waiting for the sheet to. It didn't work that way. The music's still going. Oh, yeah. oh, there it is. Oh my god. Yes, the legally distinct overcast of the tall. Poor roll, Dan. Unfortunate. Any icon kind of relationships there? Nope. Nah, I just, just smoke them if you got them. I don't got them. I'll use my Empire one for you. I can hear him, like, I don't know, singing an Empire, like, charge song as he, like, slams it down. Give us a reroll. You. Or I'll a make song. it. It's you could just say, like, a battle cry. No, you went with a song. Alright. Yeah. You're like, oh, ho, fiddly dum. Now that's a crit. <laughs> yes, nice. perfectly stabbed down, and the creature cries out in pain as he reels about. Wait a second. Did I use Breath of the Black no. last session or last game? No. Maybe. On the monkeys? I feel like I did. I don't know. Maybe not. Scroll back up. I... That goes... That only goes so far. The monkey's yep. tantrum score has increased by two. Nice. Let's go ahead and roll. Um, I think... Let's see. Okay. It starts with one, so it should have three total. All right, you're, you're fine. It has not thrown a tantrum. It starts at zero. Oh, a two and two. It literally says it starts at zero. Uh, I think it starts at one. Well, I'm not so sure, though. Man, do you know how big this sheet is? Yeah, all I'm saying is if you literally look at the move. Yeah, you know, all I'm sentence. saying is I'm throwing Kalia's shield at Ash. No, he's in the branches, huh? I'm throwing Kalia's shield at the dame. Oh my god, Dame, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, thank god. It flies past and just kind of lands right next to the Dame. Behind Yikes. The next turn. <laughs> yeah, it wedges just right in front of her. Oh, Perfect. plus one AC. I don't even bonus. have to move. 
Excellent. What? Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> was that a spell on the monkey down. side? No, that was not a spell. <laughs> Wait. Um, <laughs> are you trying to take away my shield? <laughs> The dame, meanwhile, you have monkeys scrabbling along, and they glide and pounce oh, on you. Good. Plus uh, one AC, plus right? Plus one AC bonus. Um, that said, fine. because this was a pouncing glide and you had lower initiative, they get to both Savage Bite and Ripping Claws you. Ooh, that, that is a total of 50, 60 damage. They'll do the math. 55. Sounds about right. 30 plus 25. Wait. They didn't all hit. Let's see. Yeah, one didn't hit. 55. Yeah, 55, 15, 15, 30. Yeah, 55. Oi. Ah, your makeup. Meanwhile. He's hit for worse. <laughs> Meanwhile, the injured one near Lucian scrabbles off into the tree. It's it, it's not it's not a head. It doesn't. It saw what happened to its friend. Lucian is now your turn. All right, barreling on all fours, I will go and. Oh, oh. my bully monkey has got removed from initiative. All right. Come on. Man. Woo! You rip it off of the dame and just bite a, a huge chunk out of it. It is now dead. Oh, I think Chris will hit the next one. Which will miss. And that's my turn. All right. The people from Dungeon Town have now escaped off the side of the map. Ash, it is now your turn. You see uh, Leanne just like holding on. Uh, I'm going to tell her to let go. Because as a free action. Uh, oh, well, is she, is she trying to get down again? Good question. I suppose. You know what? Well. Man, can we go ahead and get a strength or con check for you to stay it on when the monkey did his big throw? Yeah. Considering it was specifically a flail, I'm gonna say that's strength just to have this sheer, like, grip. Sure. Alright. No I mind. cannot see her just under the monkey. Two. Yeah. Land okay, well. Popped off, unfortunately, when the monkey did its big flail. I cast Featherfall on her as a free action because I have that. All right. Um, and I do not have the uh, spell actually pulled up on my sheet, but right. I know it's a thing I can do. It only Let's see. When you cast Featherfall will certainly fall. make it easier for you to hop back on, too. Yeah, at third level, I can cast a target with a nearby spell, and I'm casting it at fifth level. So... She has she has more than enough. Mm -hmm. Is that all you're doing in your turn? Anything else? Uh, no, that's a free action, so I can actually fire another little kamehameha at the at the at this big dude. Um, I think that is exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, Kali, are you good? Do you need more help with the monkeys, or should I fire at the big one? Um, you can fire at the big one. I still got some stuff I can use in my kit. Okay. Uh, let's set him on fire. Kinda fucked up. Is only 11? Oh, is no, it a higher level hard. spell? Fifth level? Yes. The monkey's fur catches on fire, and he now has eight ongoing damage. I Oh, he wasn't staggered before? I guess his, uh... Tantrum. Now it's two. Now it's two. Quick roll d6. We're good. Oh, um, boy. It's not an even hit, though, so it, the, there's no one going. Oh. It 
And that is my turn. I'm not moving out of these branches. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, it's now the bully monkey's turn. Um, you know, they only pick on people that they feel like they can win in a fight, right? Um, and uh, they are dangerously close to just fleeing this entire battle. But they are all going to disengage, just run away from Kalia. Go ahead and give uh, three attacks opportunity as they flee. And they are going to run over to Ash and start just, like, trying to rip him out of the branches. <laughs> Galia? Or so. Look, you know, I wasn't expecting them to disengage, okay? Oh, man, the... You managed to do a lot of damage to one. He like limps off. He does, he actually runs into the trees as a result, and the other one takes six damage as he goes. Um. All right. Two of them are going to try to club at uh, Ash. If Ash survives, I'm dipping a level into Thief to get some reactive <laughs> action in here because this sucks. Um, as they're like attacking they're like pulling things out of his pockets they're like trying to rip at his um, robe like no give, give that back uh, I can't do anything about it what are you uh, no you, you know you lose some like pocket change and that shiny trinket found and... that's Valley... my rock that almost looked like a dog that piece of toast had the priestess on it <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why am I staggered? Because you have less than fifty percent health. Oh. I know you're the tank. You don't know know know, know what that is. <laughs> don't know what that feels like. You no can rally you now to and you spend your standard action to get back health. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Um. Well. Did I use this? I don't remember if any of these marks that I marked on my sheet are correct. I feel like I used that already, so I, I'm, I'm not gonna... Um... <clears throat> so I'm staggered. I'm sorry, repeat that again? I can do what? You can spend a standard action to rally. I know, you don't use clear kill, it's different. There's just a route. You can click the recovery button on your sheet and it will roll. Okay. Oh my god, I'm at exactly 50 per- no, wait, more than 50% health, never mind. Uh, cool. So, that's my standard yeah. action. I can still yep. do a quick- Quick a action quick and action. move action. Um... That is a standard action. Uh, I am, we still, mm, we still have to fight this big guy, right? Oh, but he's badly injured. Okay. Uh, I am just gonna move. Um, I would recommend over here. Oh, boards ash? Look, all it's I'm saying cool. is. One of us has six recoveries, the other one doesn't. Ah, uh, fine. I guess I'll just move over here. Besides, look, I'll be honest, you could Talia can totally see Leanne getting ready to jump. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna move there and hang out. End my turn. Okay. Dame, it's now your turn. Okay, I am going to smack the flying monkey right in front of me. I'm just gonna do a basic melee, so stick it with the spear. Alright, um... 
you stab at it. Not dealing at, like, for the first time in forever, you haven't just, like, crit it something with your melee. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, I guess I'll attempt to disengage while I'm here. Uh, but that probably won't work. Yeah. All right, so I'm staying here. Oh, every time. Leanne, you still have Featherfall. Getting back on there is a pretty easy dex check. Let's or, go. you know, it, strength of your jump legs could probably be easy. Yeah. Well, it, the way I see it, it, without Featherfall, it would be more about the footwork to actually land and then quickly get grass onto it. But with Fever Falling, it's more of like shooting yourself like a bottle rocket. That's fair. Let's go. And then Zimran, I'll just roll free. Ooh, wow. So that's my that, that's uh that's my move action. So um, Okay. Where where am I going with such a leap? Uh, certainly up. Um, you're probably overhead the monkey now, out of range of a melee. Uh, but you could do a ranged attack straight down. I... Murder. So is he clinging to the cavern ceiling? Uh, he's just kind of in midair right now. I do have my weapon this side. I'm making man points away. Alright, that's enough. Alright, whip out the crossbow. <laughs> Take fire. <laughs> okay. Man, you're just... You're having a rough turn there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting in midair? You're not used to it. Yeah. All right? <laughs> Have you ever seen a giant monkey play volleyball? <laughs> yeah. I've seen worse things happen to me. I can't target you. You're under the monkey. I think I'm over the monkey. That's the problem. Uh, even he can't hit you, though. Uh... You ever try and hit a floating volleyball with a sword? You're just flying. Oh, uh, he swings and he misses and lets out a frustrated growl. But his he's badly hurt. Most of his minions are gone. He is going to start lopping off into the distance. <laughs> Limping as he goes. Wait, is he serious? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leanne is just, is currently like, I don't know, 30, 50 feet midair. Um, the Is one combat monkey... over? Mm, almost. Oh, okay. The one mon Wait, monkey I... by the dame is going oh, to disengage right. successfully and inflict 10 damage as it does so and pop up back into the tree and start scrabbling off. Loser. I'm just some scathing Lucian. words as he runs away, dame. The only enemies yeah. left at this point are some monkeys bullying Ash. And they are about to flee as well when it's their turn. Telling me I can't catch up to this guy? The guy that ran into the trees? The, no. Oh, that guy? Yeah, no, you can get to him. He's still, All right. he's still in the tracker, just in case. He and Grizz are running on all fours. I would hope Grizz is running on all fours. Gosh, this just got a lot weirder. Imagine if Grizz was just like on two paws most of the time. We never mentioned it. What was the uh, disengage for? <laughs> uh, that was an accident. Oh. It rolled for Balrin for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. It's because your character Link is Balrin. All right, you slash into uh, the monkey's hindquarter for thirty-one damage. And Grizz does not manage to take a bite. He actually got a target. Sorry. That's all, folks. Sep is now Ash's turn. <sighs> so, here's a question. 
Um, I have the Forgeborn Armature, right? Um, I switched it up for the Mantle of the Mage a while ago. It's not on my sheet. Is that still available to me, or should I just let that go for now? Because I have... Well, you can only unquip one at a time, so... Yeah, I definitely do not... I, I recall not needing or not wanting the mantle of the yeah, mage over drag there. Drag it into the um, party uh, bag actor to store it, save a copy, and then delete it off your character sheet. Never mind. Wait, did you just fire That's a ranged cool. attack? Oh, you have close quarters. You're, you're fine. I was, yeah. I was, was that apply to ranged attacks? Yes, he has a class talent. I do not I do not suffer penalties for uh, ranged attacks, and I can also cast spells up close without a penalty. Okay, so okay. the spells, but does that include? Well, I mean, there's, there's whatever. yeah, there's nobody else near me, right? So yeah, even if I got it within range. There's right. literally two oh, monkeys. Does, yeah, there's two monkeys near me. <sighs> Kit, what are these monkeys all about, man? Your pocket you. <laughs> okay, never mind. Can I take back that ranged attack against the big monkey then? But Since... you already rolled a miss. Okay, that's fair. I'll take the miss. Goodbye, everyone. Anyways, there you get attacks of opportunity, melee, basic attacks against them as they scatter off into the trees, whooping and hollering. Oh, another one each? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see. I don't think my melee attack is much better. Oh my gosh. Hello? <laughs> Your other one? My other one will also miss. Yeah. All right, now combat's over. Now combat's over. Give those monkeys a fair ass kicking. Can I <clears throat> run to go catch Leanne? Yeah. Catch. Go ahead and roll a Constitution to ca like catch her underneath. Yeah, you got the full weight of an armored girl. How? Oh! You catch Leanne, but, like, it brings you uh, into, like, down, like, it's like, whoop! And uh, you lose... Ah, no, that's lame. Ah! You Do it, you coward! Do it, you coward. No. All right, you catch her in a pretty princess uh, ca carry hold. That's not what you meant for. You meant for just like a generic over the shoulder. But no, you're carrying land like a princess. And now you have to deal with it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a kiss. Just going to quick rest here. Yeah, while in Callie's arms. <laughs> what? Just because I'm in her arms Rock doesn't mean I can't quick rest. Now go. say something cute, Kith. <laughs> <laughs> um, have a nice flight. <sighs> Not by choice. Thanks for flying, <laughs> Air Calia. It's more of a and joint she, effort. And then she just sets Leanne down. <laughs> Thank you. You think your shield got tossed that dame? Oh, my baby! Back. Yeah, Callie is gone. As soon as you said shield, she's gone. Did my shield take any damage? No, nope, that's fine. To... Cool. Oh, boy. Come to Papa. It's probably a bit dirty, but... Oh, my God. We got wrecked. <laughs> oh, Max, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> we we did kind of get wrecked, yeah. Do we get a quick rest? Oh yeah, you guys can, it, you guys always are eligible for quick rest after a battle. Um, okay. and not only that, you guys all have earned an incremental. Oh good. 
So we're at three, right? Yeah, I believe so. Oh no! It took all my recoveries. Uh, I have I have no recoveries. I have none I either. Take that back. How far what? we are from a full? Girl. Didn't you guys just full heal like after? I'm sure. No. No. After the. Uh... No. Not after the gate battle before it. Right, right yeah. before the... So you guys have had the gate battle. You guys fought this monkey. We fought in the library. We fought I... in the library. Yeah, we fought a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll be close. Yeah, you're you're almost there out of full rest. Probably like one more battle. Um, the ability score bonus is. Plus one to three, right? You, but you can't take it because the next time you get an ability score bonus... Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. You guys are eligible for ability score bonuses. Mine as an yeah. earlier incremental. Huh. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, ability score I... bonuses at level seven. Yeah, you can take a plus I... one to three ability scores. Like I'm seven. picking up a new spell. I'm gonna pick up probably the worst spell you people have ever seen. Sorry, go ahead, pal. Uh, okay, where is it? Tune, you probably know where this is, but you still recover up to half your HP even with zero recoveries. You just get that penalty for... Yes. Okay, but we've already had two incrementals. Uh -huh. Lucian already has hit points and ability score. Yes, you're gonna have to make a choice on what you have in life now. You already picked the easy ones, now you gotta pick one that actually requires you to read. <laughs> Extra magic <laughs> item, um, because you are you know that your reward from this is a magic item. You could do the plus one to your skill checks, you could do, you know, a um, feat, or yeah, as if you're the next level. Uh, where are the where okay oh, equipped magic items owned magic items oh it's not showing up in here would Balrin get one too or no yes, Worsborn armature he, there it is he's synced okay I okay uh Ash takes off his biggest cloak the big one mm -hmm. with the with some with like a sigil of the uh the archmage on it and folds it up neatly, revealing the magic uh, scarred arms and, and grayed skin sort of underlit with tones of blue and red as mana courses through him. And then he's also, like, just unfurling the the big brass arms uh, as big as they'll go. Uh, and now he's going to start punching people with them. Nice, nice. I'm also going to pick up the spell Touch of Evil. Wait, we're not doing the incremental offline? Like, you're going to ask us what we're doing right now? You can do it later if you want. I'll have you know, finishing this fight was the online content I prepared for this session. <laughs> well, the audience finally gets a, gets a look at the engine behind the scenes, because I am... How many spells do I get here? I get eight spells next level. So if I pick up a new spell as if I were the next level, do I get that new spell limit? Or is, do I still only get to cast you, seven spells? You keep the limit of your current level, I think. Okay. Okay. There we go. Well, that's not a question that I need answered anymore because the Elven Shadows is going bye-bye. I'm picking up... Uh, touch of evil alrighty my ability uh, scores have been increased I have a question yes. I have a couple of daily spells uh -huh. that don't have a, a usage tick next to them okay. is that is that normal I just noticed that I feel like they used to have a thing <laughs> that said how many times we used it they should um, some where which ones don't you see uh, Sphere of Radiance doesn't have one. Strength of Gods does not have one. Judgment does not have one. Mighty hold Healing on, has hold one. Hold on. Uh, Sphere of Radiance, I see. Use is zero. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Sorry, I'm dumb. You were you looking at feats? 
Uh, no, I was looking at, so, like, Mighty Healing has, like, a little circle next to it, mm -hmm. right? And then it has, like, a one. But, like, Sphere of Radiance doesn't have the little circle, but it has the, like, uses box that you can tick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little circles indicate feats for that thing. So if you, like, open, you know, this clear oh. kale here, you can see your adventure feat. Right, can I, okay. Can I swap spells during a quick rest? During a quick rest, yes. Ooh, okay. Quick rest? I thought it was during the. Oh, man, I'm pretty sure I have it pinned in general. Uh, no, not general. Player general. Things you can swap when spells can be swapped every full heal up. Sorry, I said. Yeah, uh, the only exception to that rule is a cultist. Because you Fair. can swap your recharge spells to other recharge <clears throat> spells. Uh, okay. In that case, I have nothing else to do. Hmm. I'm wearing armor from, like, big dead ants. I have giant brass arms, a wand in one of them, and a, an evil cultist book in the other. Elemental crystal sort of like spinning around my neck and gloves on my real hands that I use to catch magic. This is good. Can Grizz and I track down the people who ran away? Um, do you want to hunt them through the fungal forest? I mean, they were out here for a reason, right? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the monkeys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Those, those people, uh, like, it is not hard for you to catch up to them. You follow their tracks really easily, and you let them know that you guys survived, and they're like, we didn't even see you. Oh, I didn't know there was more of you. We wouldn't have run. Uh, we came here for the, the contract because <laughs> you guys have taken so long. So you yeah, that back big old and... beast start chasing us down with its flying goons. Yeah, well, while you have a little bit more protection, do you want to grab whatever it is, whatever thing you're out here for in the first place? Yeah, those uh, those red um, mushrooms on that tree that it knocked over are actually, you know, they they only blossom every couple, you know, sleep cycles, you know, hundred or so, and you know. It's rare to find one in bloom like that. We, we need to gather them up. All right. Well, we've got extra hands now. Uh, they show you how to cut them, like, just below the mushroom cap and, like, cut out a little poison sack. Um, ha, we lost one person learning how to do that. <sighs> Foraging has always been one of the more dangerous trainings. Can you lace your weapons with this kind of stuff? Oh, it's just the kind of poison that, like, you know, when you eat it, it's no good. Gotcha. No, it does nothing. In fact, the monkeys love it. Yeah, Lucian, you're looking for more venoms than you are poisons. Gotcha. I... I figured a hunter would at least know the difference between venom and poison. I mean, I track these people down. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't good. hunt fruit. I hunt animals. Animals have ve No, it's fine. You almost died. It, it doesn't matter. You folks are new. Uh, I don't recognize you from Dungeon Town. Thief eat you in the latest gobble? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Our second time. Oh, return adventures. Those are rare. Not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. No. The people who return by choice, uh, not, something's not right with their heads. If I get out here, mm, I'm moving somewhere like as far like on a body of water maybe or, like on top of a mountain somewhere with nothing else nearby so the stone thief won't eat it i we to the surface uh, in a while we've had uh an encounter with the stone thief in the ocean before <sighs> yeah there and there's another idea there's 
nowhere that isn't it's just uh, messed theoretically up. And it would be a long shot, but maybe you could talk to one of the chromatic lizards. Maybe there's a way to get a sky island. Oh, I, maybe there is. I like how you, I like the way you guys think. <laughs> sky island. Skyland. Yeah. There you go. Keep like sky sheep up there, you know. Oh. I mean, why? Why dream small? Why I mean, if the kobolds can yak. do it, why can't I? Right. Yeah, get, get exactly. yaks, though. Yeah. What do you got against kobolds? Nothing. It's just, uh, I can't believe they have a, ma a sky island they maintain. Yeah, I guess it's less of an island and more of, like, a weird ship that they patch together. I don't know, man. I just live here. What would you do if you got out of here? I mean, like, profession-wise. Uh, well, you know, back before I was gobbled up by the stone thief, I uh, turned wool into thread and fiber you were a spinner yeah I, most people don't know that down here though I just they know what fiber is could we use one of those at the manor Ellen uh I mean we don't really have a source for wool but sure you guys have a manor is it in the sky <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well no yeah. and it uh, has been invite. attacked it has been attacked <laughs> by meteors thrown by the crusader as well. Ex well excuse me? Stone thief. And the stone yeah. thief. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's pretty safe. We got yeah. some Yeah. Three headed. Yeah. And we have like a magical graveyard, so if you die, we can bury you there and you won't get, you know, resurrected. That's how we buried my ma. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a very nice place. If you don't look at the meteors or the stone thief attack. Or have like a wondrous a... kitchen too, I might add. Do you have like a family here or no? I mean, I got people I call family, but uh, no, no, it's just me down here. <laughs> well, we <laughs> might have room to take one person back with us. That's pretty funny. Is it? I just, you know, just thinking about like some peasant in canvas clothing coming around like the ruins. And they have like a single blue flower that's like growing in this hellish place and they come around the corner and they hear I got people like call family but really fuck these these assholes you know just <laughs> I uh, can probably sense that this is his maybe one way out <laughs> look we had some Argued success in getting other people out of here before. Only works with really small numbers. I'm one. I'm a small number. I'm one. <laughs> Can you hold a spear or a sword or anything? I'm on the foraging crew for a reason. <laughs> well, it seems pretty dangerous. More dangerous than the, I don't know, live in the dark crew. I. Lucian, I think just about anyone who lives in Dungeon Town at least knows how to use a sword. Out All right. of necessity, like you know more which end anything. is sharp. You know where to where to where to. I I might not get out of here because of this pinky, but I say we take this guy. What we'll get Dungeon Town if we specifically try and rescue anyone. We'll, we'll get what? kicked out of Dungeon Town if we specifically try and rescue someone. Well, here's the thing. Well, you tell guy. What's your name? <laughs> Good question. Been a while since character. I... <laughs> yep. I, um, you don't have a name? I do have a name. It's just, you know, people don't really ask names, you know, these days. It's just, you know, they don't want to get attached. We lose so many. Uh, Did you which... forget your name? No, no. It's, it's nice to have people actually caring, you know? There's a, there's some hope for you guys. Like, everyone in Dungeon Town, they just kind of gave up a while ago. Like you gave up on us, like, 30 minutes ago? Hey, don't take it personally, man. Uh, <laughs> big monkey, I saw that guy get squished, his eyeball popped out. I, 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 it's back in, I don't know how you did that. I <laughs> learned that. Today. No worries, just, just messing with you. Uh, um, I... <laughs> anyway, I'm Orion. <laughs> Come again? Orion. Orion? If that's how you pronounce it in your parts. 
All right, Orion. You're That's a okay. good answer. That's a <laughs> good answer. It, All right. Learn my name right. and immediately mispronounce it on purpose, asshole o overlanders. Look, there's two potential hey, what's your name? we could do for Dungeon Town. Uh, because they don't want anyone to escape and bring hope because then others might leave Dungeon Town. And that's the Fuck. conundrum, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they'll have me. And I can actually defend a gate as Joan. Yes, well, here's the thing. One, Leanne Morns, nice to meet you. Two, we could just lie on the report and say that one of them died. Oh yeah, that's true. True. Would your family, quote unquote, lie for you? Lie? I mean, plenty of people lie, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I lie all the time, especially to the people that I that I don't love and as my friends and family. It just calls them family. <laughs> Look, what's your name, uh, Curly? I guess not Curly. You're Baldy. All right, Oreo <laughs> or um, O'Reilly, you're coming with us. <laughs> oh, 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 O'Reilly. Orin, what, uh, I, I, I think it's Oreo. Orion. Orion. Look, I'm <laughs> not to worry. I at least remember names, Orion. So, it's your choice. Do you want to go in and then just subtly leave with us, or do you want us to claim your dead, finish our business in Dungeon Town, and then find you once we're actually able to leave this area? Look, I'm... I'm no adventure. I I can get out here. I can get mushrooms. I can get back. It's a place I understand in life. I I dream about up above, but there's no one left for me up there either. I'm yeah, just... Well, here's the thing. Yeah. Even if there's no one up there for you anymore, isn't it part of life to find places that you belong and people that you have a bond with? even in areas that you no longer belong to? Yes. Isn't that how most of these empires have started? You guys are, you know, you got magic swords worth more than what I can make in three years. You've got, you know, uh, well, you're yeah, strong uh, you and know. talented and probably have, like, favors with the icons. I'm just, I'm just Orion the Spinner. And now I'm gonna be on the the mushroom harvester. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Orion, if I may. Um, this is a this is actually this isn't like other startups. I was actually in stasis just a year ago. You know, I was I was in a halfway point in my life, literally, you know, at the doorstep of wizards begging for help, and. I I got onboarded with this company as an intern, and ever since then, it's been. It's it's been. Look at me now, you know. And he sort of just flexes with a big brass arm. And, and that's not our uniform, um, you know. That, he's wearing look, just regular street clothes. You can wear whatever you want. You were a spinner before. Once you're at the manor, I'm sure the dame wouldn't hurt to having you trained and becoming a personal tailor. Absolutely not. Go right ahead. Just, you guys, so, why, why go against the grain? Why swim upstream? Why, why waste my breath? You know, the only people who've tried to escape said that we could escape. And people would go and they'd just be dead. Well, <laughs> nothing changes. Last time we got a slave and a guy who thought he was a vampire because he ate people. Uh-huh. How so, many people died that, that that didn't make it? I think we all made it. We didn't all make it. No, we it. definitely did not all make it. That was all a right, pretty good fine. success, right? Considering we didn't know what we were doing. Look, I'm gonna escort me back to Dungeon Town. I'll thank you. You know, I'll, I'll serve you some. You know, my special sourdough starter. All right. You know, thanks for help, keep helping me out. If you guys swing back through Dungeon Town on your way out. Come swing by. Maybe I'll have reconsidered. All right. Just keep it in mind. Odds are we'll be here a third time. 
Oh, darn, you'll forget me before tomorrow. We'll never forget you, Oreo. <laughs> well, <laughs> one of us won't forget you, Oreo. <laughs> it's my job to be concerned for the uh, welfare of the common folk. We appreciate that. We're glad someone's looking out for us. I forgot to. So which right one was Orion? You know, I'll see the human dwarf. I think he's this guy. Yeah, he's this. There he is. That's him. Wow, where do you get your prescription glasses in a place like this? Oh, they're they're just for show. I, they're, he sh shows like they're just the frames. There's no glasses. Oh, Lucian will just look over to Dame and just like, <laughs> we're not taking this guy. <laughs> <He's injured. laughs> look, all right, we've got the mushrooms. Let's head back to Dungeon Town. Okay, you guys are owed a a, a gift. You guys are owed a reward. Yes. And for saving people, you can claim two magic items. Amazing. The question is, what kind of magic item do you want? It's kind of just a whole ramshack pile. Um, they got all sorts of things, armors, mantles, cloaks, swords, maces, shields. Uh, and they got all, they're from all sorts of different kinds of icons. You know, it's kind of like going to a shop, except you don't, like, it's just what you find, man. Huh. Okay. Well, who here has some magic item slot they want built? I mean, I have... Yeah, what are we allowed it. to have? Up to your level, plus one if you take the incremental. I could use, I could use some new shoes. Honestly, these are some nice, nice boots. But actually, they did help with my disengage. No, they didn't even help with my disengage. I could, oh, you. I could maybe look at some shoes. Yeah. Okay. Everyone here not liking their boots. What do you got for belts? I got belts. I got a belt slot. Okay. I could, I could use filled. Okay. Yeah, belt would be good. So anyway, just generate, like, I don't think any of us have any enchanted boots. Generate, like, six pairs of enchanted boots. Tell you Easy. What, hold on. First of all, there is a there is a belt called a Bad Moon Waist Tattoo. Uh, it's magic. Like, it's, 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 it's kind of like a temporary tattoo, except when you slap it on, it's just a magic tattoo. Um, you gain a two-point background called Humanoid Hunter, and your quirk is howling in battle. It's well, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I well, mean, it looks Lucian, like it, Lucian is getting a very fashionable lower back tattoo. Would it? Since he's a, since you know he's sort of an, a dog. Would you call it a? Would it be fair to call it a tramp stamp? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about this? Great golden worm associated boots. The greaves of reengagement. Once per battle, when an enemy disengages or pop free from you, roll a normal save. If you succeed, you pop free from any other enemies engaged with you and move back into engagement with that enemy. But you can't stand saying goodbye. I'm sorry, can you read that again? So if an enemy disengages, you roll, yeah. and if you succeed, you go re-engage with them. Ah. No. Basically, nobody gets away. Oh, that would be great for Victor. Um, <laughs> hmm. I already have Me? the boots of land striking on Victor. Uh, here we go. Emperor boots. Whoa. Um, boots of the Dragon Rider. Recharge six. When you would fall, roll a normal save. If you succeed, you avoid falling and remain as close as possible to the location you were when you started to fall. Balrin might want those. Balrin's not here. That is a true statement. Those boots aren't huh. horrific. They'd also go pretty Unless well with my imperial person. plate, I imagine, aesthetically. Oh, yeah, they, they would tie right in. Um, how about, you know, Dwarf King boots? 
The Dwarven Doomsteppers. You gain a plus two bonus to miss damage with melee attacks. Actually, these are champion carry boots, so they're plus four. That basically Calia. would only be used by Calia. Calia. And the quirk is you tromp and uh, stomp loudly. Calia. Oh, oh, that is definitely a Calia quirk. Wait, what? It adds to your miss damage. And you stomp uh, loudly. Yeah. Do you have an item slot? I don't know. Uh, How many magic items do you have? Which which item slot does it take up? Boots. Boots. Uh, I do not have boots. I currently have three pieces of magic items. You actually also have a mask, so four. But yeah, you have a slot. A mask? Yeah, I don't know why it wasn't marked as a slot. Uh, it's a helmet. It's the mask of the Eskandari. Oh, sorry, the mark well, of the Eskandari. Mark. Uh, you're right. That's why it wasn't marked. Uh, we'll just mark it as a Wondrous. Forgot you had that. All right, the first pair of boots go to Kalia. Okay, we still looking for more boots? Or we yeah. looking for, you get one more item. Oh, as a group? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's really your, I'm pretty well kitted out, generally speaking. Maybe Dame wants like to look for armor, maybe Lucian does. Well, I have, I have armor that gives me plus Dame. three to AC. I could use boots though. Dame, do you want a crown of candles? What does that get me? Uh, as a quick action, uh, four uses per day. Um, you can snuff one of the four candles on the crown to roll a saved and an effect on yourself. If a you fail, the candle stays lit. Checks? No. Does that help with disengage checks? It does not. Well, then. Don't you have, uh, didn't we get you boots for disengage checks? No, my boots... Um, they give me an occasional plus one on a skill check. Right, but they also have a built-in plus two disengage. No, they don't. They should. Well, let me uh, fix that. Well, their name just changed. <laughs> oh, because okay. they weren't true magic items. All right. Yeah, let's find you some boots. All right. Uh, what kind of icon do you like? Because we already looked at the Dwarf King. Um, let's see. I also have Elf Queen and Emperor. Ooh, let's look at Archmage. There we go. Good magic boots. Magic, magic boots. The Slippers of Astral Travel. Once per battle, they let you phase using Phase Fighter Velvet. When the enemy intercepts you, you teleport back to the spot from which you started your move. And they intercept me. What does that mean? Um, if you're essentially, if you are moving, and you're moving past like an enemy towards an other area, they can choose to intercept and like engage you, and like stop you from moving. Okay, Cody. Real talk. Did you know about that rule before? Yeah. This item. Okay. I don't tend to use it because of. It's, I don't know. It's it's what. He does hold the actions primarily. Yeah. Yeah. What about this? Firewalkers, it's a the three shoe. Um, it's a recharge 16 plus and costs your move action. When an enemy attacks you and deals fire damage, you can teleport, teleport someplace nearby you can see. Ah, these plus two disengage like shoes I already have all are right, better all than all that, right. though. Dragon step shoes, recharge sticks. When you stomp in these shoes, it sounds like the footsteps of something large and leaves appropriate footprints. Gain a plus four bonus to a skill check to frighten or intimidate. Yeah, if anyone would make work of that theatrically. And yeah, the I... quirk is taking up space and making noise. That's pretty tempting. 
But again, disengage plus two. Is it worth well, dropping? You would the naturally get the disengage bonus. Like yep. boots just naturally get that benefit. So. Oh, they do. Oh, yep. that's just because they're boots. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that then. All right, you now own the dragon step shoes. Awesome. The provisioner thanks you for your service, mm -hmm. and you turn in your tickets. And you guys are all sallied up. Okay. All right, we got our rewards. We got some magic items. We talked to a person. Um, the provisioner says, you know, if there's an easy... I got one that's probably easy for you guys. You know, you're capable of ventures. A rogue dire snail ate someone's belongings. We need you to go get it to spit it back out. What belongings in particular? Oh, magic wand. Okay. Is it a bayou wizard? I can't, you know, secrecy details. I can't uh, give Just you the details of the Just imitate his client. voice. No. <laughs> My wands! Yep. I will admit I am a little surprised. Dungeon Town has better privacy laws than certain other cities. Not really, considering they just imitated his voice. Yes, but there's at least a semblance of pretending. <laughs> That's true. Trust me, I've seen a lot of cities. To be fair, would that have worked on most any other people in this town? No. <laughs> That's true, I guess I was already knowing the answer was kind of cheating. Well, feel free to use the uh, rest of the session for inter-party roleplay. That's a thing that happens sometimes. Yeah. Otherwise, whenever you guys are all tuckered out, we'll, we can call all early. I, um, I want to sit down with my book and I just want to, I just want to see something. I just want to, contextually, I just want to see what this print's like, but role playing it out it's like ash is flipping through the cultist book um like manifesting different powers like as quickly as he's flipping through the pages ash you had a near death experience today what's going through your mind um i'm thinking maybe uh you know getting rid of these powers is is a bit too a bit too hasty. I uh, maybe I should embrace them. Maybe I should see what I can milk out of this. Okay, okay. Callie, you had a near uh, had a close encounter of your own, but it was just you were very close to Leanne's face. <laughs> what? Wait. What? How did that go from you had a close to death encounter? I said to close you encounter. Uh. Okay. Well, all that mattered was that Leanne did not fall from 50 feet in the air. She maybe fell for something else. Look, she honestly probably would have been fine even if she hit the ground. Well, you know, Talia got thrown 30 feet across the battlefield. Uh, and only when she was took fighting, like 15 damage. She fighting the Thunder Beast. She didn't, uh, you know didn't want that to happen to Leanne. <laughs> Still. Um, she probably is a little bit jealous, though, that Leanne got to ride the monkey. Um, it definitely was something that she was considering doing, but she was too busy babysitting everybody else and keeping them from getting hit. Look, to be fair, Leanne... And Kalia both have the exact same passion of climbing giant beasts and hitting them in the face. That's why yeah. they work so yeah. well together. Yeah. Well, you know, you got you got to get your tall friend to like hoist you up on top of the giant monster, um, and then you know. Well, it helps when they're both the tallest, man. Huh? I thought Leanne was short. She's not that short. <laughs> I mean, everybody's short to compare to Kalia. Yeah, she's not. 
just really not that sure. I don't know. How how big is Lucian? <laughs> Lucian? I don't know. It used to be on my character sheet how tall the dame was. That's gone now. Yeah, Leanne is like 6'2". It's not short by any definition. Um, Dame, uh, how'd it feel to be eaten by monkeys? Not great. No, that was... No. Like, the dame's been uh, pot over before, but that was... This was so much worse. Not... Not a fan. Zero out of ten. The dame's kind of upset, and she's kind of keeping more of a... A little bit of a gap between herself and the rest of the world. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. You know, here's a, here's a topic for the party. What are you guys gonna do when the stone thief unconstructs and you can start uh, exploring through it again? Probably find an exit. Yeah, yeah get the hell out. We kind of have a like an eyeball to find. Though, I mean, is there anything we haven't explored? Is oh, there anything you... Explored. Oh, you mean in Dungeon Town? Uh, yeah, like in the, in the area that we're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the area you're in, there is still... Um, you were told about a temple that has a old blind man wandering around in it. Might be all right. Um, you, there is a bunch of area filled with the Mad Darrow that is the only way in and out of this area. You're gonna have to cross through that one way or another. Mm. We should do it once we actually can, like, leave through there, I feel. Yeah, I feel like those, uh, dwarves are not gonna be, um, easy. We should probably head over there after we have a full rest bold of you whenever it is that we get another full rest who knows are we even going to survive to our next full rest Ash sure as hell might not you could I'll go. pay for a full rest <laughs> you, know, you, you, can, you can buy health pots well that is true yeah, of course the only one in town who sells it is the buy who wizard and hmm. maybe the smuggler if anyone hmm. would have it, I would imagine it would be the smuggler would have some. In fact, didn't I buy a potion from him? <laughs> yeah, probably. In fact, I think you did. Is the smuggler still in Dungeon Town? Yeah. I'm. He, there's really no leaving right now. Right, but I mean, he could have, like... Uh, I guess that's true. Uh... Can we go talk to him? Are we are we going back to Dungeon Town or are we We're waiting for something else? Dungeon Town. Okay, okay. Well, I, I just you know, uh, what is he what is he selling? What isn't he selling? He's got a lot of bits and bobs. He sells like candles primarily, but he accepts gold. Does he have like good health potions, not the janky ones? Yeah. He's got champion ones. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Cool. Good to know. I got six recoveries. I think I'm okay. Okay. So, would you guys like to go deal with the dire stale or go explore that um, temple next session? And then you'll get a full heal after that. Let's get on the Bayou Wizard's good side and get him a new dire snail. 
He didn't lose no, his dire snail, his, just his... We're, we're, yeah, we're getting his wand out of the dire snail. Right, but he also wanted to move, didn't he? To, like, a bigger dire snail? You are making that up, but probably. Oh, am I? Don't I don't think oh. anyone would complain about just getting a bigger house they can live in. <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, let's go inside uh, the snail guts. Snail guts, snail guts. That sounds terrible. It'll probably be unpleasant, but... Yeah, her armor will probably hold up. Yeah, and it's fine with it. All right. Well, we'll call that session then. Um, Seb, what's something you liked? What's something or someone you want to see again? That's what I got. Um, um, <clears throat> you know what's what? Before we leave Dungeon Town, tell me something else about Dungeon Town too. Something else about Dungeon Town? Mm -hmm. Just like, like someone who lived there, or like the a weird um, building that was constructed. Okay. Or... Um, they have um, a tradition called rock farming, um, which is uh, just whoever is lucky enough to own land in Dungeon Town. Um, over the course of like the few weeks over the course of a few weeks like you'll just go out at night and like harvest a bunch of nice looking rocks from the area and place them in your garden and then it's sort of like local tradition for like somebody to come up to your to your fence and be like hey uh nice rocks you got there how long you been growing them and you're supposed to lie and say like oh you know you know going on 50 sleep cycles now and they hold like a rock farming festival oh but the the thing is is that you have to be able to carry the rock to and from the actual festival you can't just tell you know come look at my big rock because you got to be able to move it That's you can't fair. just pull a 500 pound rock into your yard and be like i win <laughs> <laughs> all right what about the rest you know what, what do you like something you want to see again i like ash's build he's just evil now sorry everyone um all these quirks really add up, don't they? Um, what else? What else? What else? I like how, you know, I've got quirks like snorts when laughing, and meanwhile, Ash is like going to the bad. Yeah. Um, cause suffering in others or enjoy to enjoy watching others struggle. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd like to see more more of what we did today i thought it was good i thought it was good i realized that it was like a knocked over tree a little too late so i didn't get to do anything fun like i want to climb up the tree and pew 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 with the monkey but i appreciate what was there i appreciate the the possibilities as soon as um you let leanne climb the monkey i was i i enjoyed myself a little bit more wow. even though it wasn't me that was on it that was it <laughs> Yeah, that was, and, and that's it. Ramham? Uh, one thing about Dungeon Town. Um, uh, if you live, uh, longer than, uh, the oldest person in the village, uh, you get, uh, special decision-making rights on, uh, like, civil cases, like, civil dispute cases. Uh, so the, 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 uh, um, what's it called? Like, the jurisdiction, legal jurisdiction of Dungeon Town is just a bunch of people, whoever's lived the longest, and then if someone dies, whoever is the next oldest... Uh, gets to help make decisions. Okay, okay. And, uh, I liked getting to fight another big monster. Uh, getting to climb on top of big monsters is always interesting. Um, 
kind of sad we didn't get to kill the big monster. But I'm pretty sure it would have killed one of us before we killed it. So yeah. also maybe a good thing. Yeah, maybe a good thing. I also uh, did say ahead of time, like the provisioner said that it will, you know, you just gotta scare it off with a bunch of damage. Yeah. But when you fight a big monster, it's rewarding to actually kill it. That's true. I'd rather kill it closer to Dungeon Town so we can just give the meat to the people. Yeah, exactly. They could have monkey meat for like years. I don't think uh, monkey meat is that long. Well, you know, you gotta like cure it, you know, dry it and make <laughs> yeah. monkey jerky. Yeah. I don't think they get much wind flow. Uh, but yeah, you know, you could smoke it, you know, make a, a, a covered area and like smoke cure it. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoy fighting uh, giant monsters. I don't enjoy fighting some punk ass monkeys uh, who throw temper tantrums. Though. Those, <laughs> those little monkeys were very annoying. So good, good on you for finding an, another annoying enemy. I try my best, Ellen. Let's see. Uh, something I liked. Um, I liked Orion. I liked that that little bit of role play. I liked how we got a little bit of everything this session. That was fun. We did some shopping. We did some talking. We did some fighting. That was it was good. Um. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just there was there. Were, there's the um, something else in Dungeon Town, and then what's the third part? Something you like, something you want, something or someone you want to see again? Yes, Orion. I want to see Orion again. I want to know what happens to him, and if he does decide to go with us, I want to follow up on that. Orion. Orion. Yeah, it's Orion now. What? I don't. Let me jot down a note. Did you not actually write down their name? I did write down their name. I didn't write down how I pronounced it. Or, or, yeah, Orion. Yeah, it's Orion. The dame pronounced it as Orion initially. Because Orion is the name of the actual constellation. Yeah, well, you know what? He isn't a bunch of stars. Okay, okay. Look, he could gleam as bright as any star if he tried. Yeah. What Leanne said. What Pat but he said. doesn't have the motivation to try. <laughs> well, that's why us adventurers are here. How? Yo, what up? What am I talking about with Dungeon Town? Oh, tell me something Anything. about it. Uh, all right. Like you know, something other than oh yeah, there's just a secret exit right to the top right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Max. Okay. I don't go for cheap shots like that. I guess I have to change my answer. Now. <laughs> uh, they have small reservoirs that they've made because you know they're, they well it's more so there's all the behemoth shells and all right. Yeah. So that means there's probably other shells here that like fell in and got discarded, right? Yeah. You know, like turtles that were just devoured and the shell is left behind yeah what they've done is they've made almost like a uh, gutter system out of shells so if there ever happens to be like water that happens to flow through this area and fall in they're able to collect it as uh, drinkable water Ooh. in like a bit of a irrigation system the shells hmm. i love how like every person gives their own like style of thing they add to the world like you know I, and Powell's is always like you know like here's a world building thing about like logistics and I, I love how I love it if it's in Leanne's character yeah uh, in terms of the session itself monkeys they're still pretty cool we've proven that they are not very strong when together they can't even handle, like, five adventures. Pathetic. Mm. Okay, yeah, they, just they because handled you... Ash pretty well. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. You flung an entire attack away from me into him. 
hey, you know, we gotta, you know, help the ones that can help us re-roll our damage, right? That is true. You know, the funny thing is, I was just gonna uh -huh. throw the shield at, like, the day of revolution anyway, with, like, Leanne riding along. Oh. Also, I'm gonna, I was gonna use Battle Captain Sora Command. Okay. I forgot to do that. I doubt you'll have issue with that. No. I had enough points for it, so. Uh, overall, the fight had some unique enemy approaches. The flying monkeys, I appreciated their approach to combat and their unique ability. I like the bully monkeys doing more damage if there were multiple of them. The uh, giant monkey, probably the most boring of them, but the tantrum mechanic was a nice approach, even if we didn't get to see it in action. Mm. Overall, uh, I'm liking that these enemies were more interesting in an actual, like, fun way compared to the library fight. That's true. The library fight was interesting in a lot of ways that I never want to see again. And, uh... Next session, Leanne is gonna need to thank Talia for catching her. Proper. <laughs> We had a whole section where you could have done interparty roleplay. I didn't hear it. Yeah. But that, I was too, I was too was worried about my book. shield. Also, Rumham, like, stepped away from her computer for, like, 20 minutes. Also so true. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Max. I also liked the enemies that they felt like they were, like, you know, primal, like, animals. Like, they acted like the flying monkeys would bounce and go for the weak ones and they would actually run away when they realized that they were this was not something they were going to win. So I like that. I feel like they had like I don't know. There's different enemies that we fought that would fight, yeah, to the very last tooth, but these are animals and they would not do that. Um something about Dungeon Town? Yeah. I there is rumor going on that the the last two years, uh, winners of the uh, rock contest have been using teleportation spells to get Ooh. their big rocks over. Wow. Mm -hmm. A scandal. Scandal. <laughs> That's just rumors, though. Nobody's proven nothing. Right. All right. Well, everyone, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you next week. Um, wait, did you guys were wait dire snail mm -hmm. dire snail dire snail write that down <laughs> sexy goblin quit nope dire snail whoa 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 what about sexy goblins no oh, not this oh, oh. Damn it. hey the boys the boys night they got a skeleton <laughs> pole dancer i want sexy goblins well you should have been there for boys night all right Got a point. Voice night. All right. We'll see y'all next week.